Hi, this is Dr. Abdul, physiotherapist. Welcome to my channel. Human anatomy, body cavities. Not only human being, but all vertebrates have fluid filled spaces, which are called body cavities. What is body cavity? Let's talk about that in this video. A body cavity is a fluid filled space inside the body that holds and protects internal organs. The human body has two main body cavities. One is ventral cavity. Another one is dorsal cavity. Let's talk about ventral cavity first. So the ventral cavity is called ventral cavity because it is located towards the front of the body. And ventral cavity is further divided into two cavities by diaphragm. And that is nothing but thoracic cavity and abdominal pelvic cavity. Let's see thoracic cavity. A thoracic cavity is situated above abdominal pelvic cavity and also subdivided into two cavities. Pleural cavity, pericardial cavity. Pleural cavity. Each lung is held within its own pleural cavity which allows it to expand and avoid friction with the ribs and diaphragm as reaches its maximum capacity and another important feature of the separation of the pleural cavities is that if one lung fails or collapses the other can go on functioning. So these are the two important functions of pleural cavity and by the way each lung is held within its own pleural cavity. Second one is pericardial cavity. Pericardial cavity holds the heart and the different layers around it having a fluid between them which will act like a lubricant ensuring the heart pumps without friction. So these are the two cavities, pleural cavity, pericardial cavity comprises or part of the thoracic cavity. Next let's see about the abdominal pelvic cavity. Abdominal pelvic cavity is further subdivided into abdominal cavity and pelvic cavity. Let's see abdominal cavity. Abdominal cavity is where the majority of the body's organ lie. These are sometimes referred to as viscera and they include organs like liver, stomach, spleen, pancreas, kidneys. A special membrane holds all of these organs in place and is called as peritoneum. And secondly, we have pelvic cavity and pelvic cavity holds the reproductive organs, bladder and allows the intestine passages to the anus. The human body has two main body cavities, ventral cavity that we have seen and now let's see the dorsal cavity. Dorsal cavity is further subdivided into cranial cavity and vertebral cavity. Let's see cranial cavity. The cranial cavity is most protective body cavity as it holds the brain in bony cavity that is of skull surrounded by soft tissue and a protective layer of fluid which reduces the strain and damage from any impacts. Secondly, we have vertebral, vertebral cavity and this vertebral cavity is similar but has a gaps where the nerves enter and exit. Like the other body cavities, the dorsal cavity is surrounded in a thin layer of cells and, and in this case, it is not called as peritoneum but meninges and it was derived from a different germ layers. Its function, however, is the same. Thanks for watching. Follow me at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and for any business related inquiry, contact me at dr.abdul.com pt at gmail.com